Yes. Hey, uh, what do you mean by a self-paced course? Well, the course material is available in the form of video lectures, and there are multiple practice problems that come along as well. So you can access all of it anywhere, anytime, and they are available to you for lifetime. No way. Oh, yes way. Don't delay and enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hey Geeks, Akshay this side. Welcome to another session of interview preparation strategies. And today we have with us Priyanka Jyandani, uh, who is placed as a software engineer at Red Hat. So she'll be joining us and sharing about, uh, you know, briefly explaining all the rounds she went through and how she prepared about her views on internships and projects. And uh, uh, she'll also give some tips to, you know, make your journey efficient. So I'll uh, request you guys to stay tuned till the end because it will be an interesting session. And uh, uh, also, uh, let me tell that she's from uh, Nirma University, Gujarat, and she did her computer engineering from there. So, uh, and uh, before I invite her, obviously, I'll look at some comments and talk to you guys. So, hi, the Durvesh. Hi, hello. And just keep the session engaging. Just keep answering questions because after once I ask uh, my questions to uh, Priyanka, after that, you know, we'll pick two or three questions from the comments. So you keep on asking it, right? So let's start. I'll, I'm waiting for a few comments. Yeah, okay, I got them. Hi, Rishabh. I sort of great, great guys. Let's start, guys. Let's start. Hi, Priyanka. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, Brenda. So, so 24 people, uh, students have joined us who are aspiring for the good placements and you are recently placed at Red Hat. So first of all, congratulations for that. And uh, uh, thank you for coming and, you know, uh, sharing your experience. Uh, so people are greeting you in the audience. So you can also look at the comments to them and read them back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let us start uh, and then let me first ask you, uh, you know, let me let uh, uh, give a brief introduction about yourself. I mean, let's start with that. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Priyanka Jiandani, and I'm currently working as a software engineer at Red Hat. So I started with Red Hat as a software engineering intern in my last semester of my college. And I have graduated in 2020 from Nirma University, which is in Gujarat. So currently, like I started as an associate software engineer after my internship. And within a year, I was promoted to software engineer. And so far, my journey has been very amazing at Red Hat. So yeah, that's pretty much all. OK, OK. Uh, let's straight away uh, jump to the main, the core of this session, which is about what actually went through each and every round, right? Uh, what type of questions were asked and which particular area of uh, DSA or other things are were included and also about the HR round, equally important. So my next question to you is a step-by-step, step, uh, please brief about each and every round. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I had four rounds for interviews and I got to know about this opportunity from LinkedIn. One of the HR from Red, Red Hat had posted about the internship opportunity at Red Hat. So I I just sent a mail to her with my resume and this was an off-campus opportunity. So there were four rounds and two were online coding round, one was technical round and one last one was the hiring manager. So going into brief in all the four rounds. So first two were online coding rounds in which I was asked like uh, two questions, two coding questions on and, and they were like of easy and medium level difficulties. And after a week or two weeks, so I got I got a call from uh, HR that I've cleared the online coding round. And the third round was uh, like technical interview with uh, software engineer and senior software engineers at Red Hat. So in my third round, I was asked questions on data structures algorithms. And okay. apart from that, I was uh, also asked some questions on object-oriented programming, computer science fundamentals like uh, computer networks, op operating systems, database management systems. And I was also, like the interview also deep dived into the projects that I had mentioned in my resume. 
so this was the third round about and after a like week or uh, two again so i got a call from hr stating that i have cleared the third round and last round was the hiring manager round so that was basically more on the project discussion round uh, and plus behavior round so it was a uh, project round come behavior round both. okay so that was over all okay and uh, i must say that you really you know in a very precise way you explained it like in a crisp way i would say uh, so mm, projects and internships right uh, these two I, I like projects i've seen that everybody should do uh, that is my opinion but uh, what projects did you do and what is your take on this and the internship part as well so my next question to you is this importance of projects and internship in this so i'll just start with my journey uh, so as i was in first year of my college i was new to coding and stuff before that i had never done any coding or stuff like that so i started to explore c and java as they were included in my college curriculum and uh, i love java so i started liking java so i decided to go with java for my for improving my coding skills and i started to practice using uh, java and i i practice on some coding platforms like uh, geeks for geeks is one of them and like there are so many variety of data structure algorithm questions and so this was about my first year like just exploring some coding uh, coding problems and coding languages having a grasp on them coming to my second and third year as uh, i had some subjects like operating systems computer networks database management systems and all so all these are also equally important to like clear the technical rounds of interview not only coding will, will help you out. so what i decided was so what i decided was that to grasp my uh, computer science fundamentals i started doing projects on those subjects so one of my project that i did was on database management system okay in which uh, i did a database designing little bit not uh, not higher level as an in industry so just to start okay. with database i did one of the projects on the subject next subject uh, that i explored was web development in which i had uh, front end uh, like uh, css html and all so i started to explore framework like react react js uh, which is a front end based framework one of the project i did was on uh, react js and uh, coming to other subjects i also explored machine learning so one of the project i did was in machine learning so as you can see i kept on exploring everything and at the third year end of the third year i had to do an internship it was compulsory that we have to do an internship from the college so i had three projects and i also got an internship opportunity with one of the mumbai based e-commerce startup so i explored my internship in front end development in react js because i had already done one project on that so this one of my project helped me to uh, like get into the internship with with some prior experience on react js yeah so okay. yeah so these were my tips like if you want to grasp your cs fundamentals start doing projects on them so that you'll also gain fundamental fundamental knowledge plus practical experience on okay okay great great friend and um, like uh, i think efficiency is one of those things which is very important in any task to do to be frank these days but when it comes to preparation journey uh, how uh, quick it is like is it 3 months or is it 6 months you take to bag a good company if you are you know going with, uh, with the route of complete off campus strategy right you are not doing off campus so i the efficiency matters a lot also in the way you prepare so what are your tips to make your preparation more efficient that is my next question yeah so more efficient is efficiency comes with practice obviously so just start early whatever you are interested in keep exploring because initially you won't know what is your interest in so initially i also did not know whether my interest lies in machine learning or front end development or back end development 
So after I explored all the areas, did some projects in this, at the end I knew that, okay, now I'll, I'm made for backend development. So currently I'm a backend development engineer. So what you're saying is that you need to experiment a lot before you really know what you love doing. So for that, yeah. you just start early and you know, start doing things and you know, real start exploring start. things. Like yeah. when you read some theory, just uh, try to implement it. Even some small projects will help you to understand things efficiently. Yeah. And uh, what about the time pressure? So how can you improve that? Like, because one, uh, when you are giving interview, there are many pressures, right? There's time pressure, there's pressure of performing good, right? Performance pressure. So, how do you tackle that? Because these things really uh, make an, a huge impact on how you conduct your interview. So, any tips for that? Yeah, like time pressure would be there at some time because even I had my university exams and the attendance criteria was like 85% in my university. So I could not miss the lectures to explore things at times. Yeah. So yeah, you have to understand like how you need to manage your time. So that's only I said, whenever you learn a subject, start exploring it accordingly. So that at the end, you don't have to do everything in one go. So just start early, start at the time when you are studying a subject, start exploring it. So that only will help you to efficiently do all the things together. Okay. All right. Uh, that's it from my side. But uh, we have like more six, seven minutes more. We can take up many questions. I guess. And let's go through the comments, Priyanka. And let's pick yeah. few questions and let's talk about it. I can already see few of them. So, um, Geeks, I would advise you to request you to, if you have any questions, just put it down and we can clear it off. Any particular one, Benga, you want me to pick for the as a first question? Yeah, so one of the questions that I can see is, did I contribute anything in Red Hat before joining Red Hat? So mm -hmm. I did not have any prior experience of open source contribution or contributing to Red Hat or any Red Hat certification. So all this is a myth without all these also. Even with your resume, you can get shortlisted and appear for interviews with Red Hat. Okay. Great. Uh, let's see some of the comments. <clears throat> He's talking about like which things help you to get promotion, like skill tech, or do you want to talk about this? Or like, yeah. are you, you think? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, Rishabh asks us. Okay. Yeah. So, first of all, when I joined Red Hat, I, I had like I did not work on Golang before, so I'm working on Golang with Red Hat. So I had to start with a new programming language that I hadn't worked on before, one was that Golang. And apart from that, I also worked with cloud native technologies like Kubernetes and OpenShift, if anyone knows, but that's fine. So, so one thing that helped me in my promotion was to discuss my ideas with the other senior software engineers or with the team that I worked on. Plus, ask questions. Don't shy away from saying that, oh, this is a very silly question or anything like that. And apart from that, I always uh, like contributed whatever issues were assigned to me. I just did them on time and efficiently. And yeah, skill improvement is one area that you have to work on. Like whatever the company, the technologies and tools that company is using, you need to be well versed in that. So that you can easily contribute to the task and take up on different different tasks at different times. Okay, okay. So uh, I can see one more question. As Red Hat works in Linux, did you encounter any Linux specific questions in the interview? Not Linux specific questions, but like questions were based on operating systems, but not. Like questions were based on some threading and everything, not uh, Linux specific. Okay. Uh, okay, this is a pretty general question. How to master DSA? Okay. So, <laughs> initially, you, even I was not a master in DSA, and still I'm not a master because uh, 
DSA mastering requires a lot of time. Yeah. And you can just start early, like uh, as I mentioned, that start in your first first year, pick one programming language that you are most comfortable. So I was most comfortable in Java. And from second year, third year, and fourth year, I started exploring uh, some questions, solving. So yeah, practice is the key, basically. So the more you practice, the more you will develop your logic. And initially start with solving easy problems. Once you solve easy problems, you gain some confidence in problem solving. Then you can uh, like gradually move to medium level and hard level questions. And it's it's not compulsory that you need to give contests on code forces, code shift to like become a master in DSA. You can just start with easy medium. On even Geeks for Geeks was most helpful to me because it it has some uh, bifurcation of questions into easy medium and hard section. So try taking each topic and just solve easy questions at first. The more questions you solve, the more confidence you'll gain in solving the questions. Okay. Okay. So uh, one more question is asked: like basic knowledge of Java full stack take is sufficient to get hired? Uh, did happen. Can we take this up? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So my interviews, as you all know, it was not based on uh, Java full stack, like, right? It was based on my problem solving skills, DSA, DSA questions, and also my CS core fundamentals. So. The interview questions are not based on any technology, but they are very generic and based on your CS fundamentals, problem solving skills, database, like the CS fundamentals covers databases. And yeah, on how good you are at problem solving, that matters the most with CS fundamentals. That's not any technology. Uh, I, and and uh, this, the next question is the last question. Yes, ask this question. and. Uh, because I think this is one of the most, most important uh, factors. So, uh, how is the work culture there at Red Hat? Like, so, uh, work culture I mean, at Red Hat. Of course, it's good. Of course, it's good. Obviously, it's good. I mean, <laughs> like, obviously. But the thing is, like, yeah, in, yeah. in what yeah. terms, like, uh, like flexibility of work, or you know, the scope you're seeing, or as an industry, I'm asking, you know. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So work culture at Red Hat has been amazing. It's the same as you can see in the reviews on internet. So sometimes it happens that the reviews are different and the company culture is different. But as I have joined Red Hat, I have seen that culture is very great. You know, you can work at any time. There is no restriction that you have to work in shifts, like you have to work from morning nine to like evening five or something like that. One of my colleagues, he works at he starts his work at night, four o'clock, and uh, oh, I think we lost you, Priyanka. Please let's just wait for another ten seconds, I guess. If you have any other questions, you just keep putting it in the comments. Maybe we can pick one more. Uh, Pawan, we restrain from uh, discussing about packages of the companies. So, uh, yeah, we don't talk about packages. Uh, Priyanka, can you hear me now? Can you hear yeah. me? I'm okay. audible. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. It happens. Technical yeah. issues. So, you were, you, were, yeah, you were talking. Yeah. Uh, you were telling about uh, the work culture, right? Uh, you said that one of your friends, you know, yeah, yeah. works at a start set go. It really shows the trust yeah. they put in. Yeah, and uh, there is no work pressure on you. You know, you can even uh, at some day if you're feeling that you don't want to work today, you want to work tomorrow on the basis of today. So also you don't have to enter your work timings that you are working from home. So some somewhere I've heard that we have to enter our work timings when we log into work and log off. Just come anytime, stop anytime. Just that you should do your work, even if it takes two hours or five hours, doesn't matter. The work should be done. That's all about it. So the work culture is amazing. Apart from this, we also, every month, uh, we do some activities uh, that not only focuses on tech, but we play some 
games with all the company members get to know each other exactly. from this yeah great. socializing great. yeah really great and uh, really. one more thing that i would like to mention is every 3 months once in 3 months we get a recharge day which which is a day off apart from other holidays that we get at the time. so, so we can it. take care of our health ऑडियंसेप्शन ऑफ द Red Hat interview for this. So, yeah. uh, thanks, Priyanka, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay. <clears throat> so uh, that was it for today, uh, Geek. So we'll come back tomorrow with a live mock, another live mock at two p.m. So join in and. Uh, uh i also mentioned in the afternoon about uh, the contest this sunday at 7 pm it's a interview uh, series for goldman sachs and uh, so the the interview rounds of uh, that company is simulated in that contest so you can check out the link uh, in the youtube description and uh, uh, so and good luck guys uh, keep learning and keep growing and uh, connect with me on linkedin if you have any queries and if you want to feature on uh, our uh, live mock segments and interview preparation segments then you can fill in the forms which are also uh, in the youtube description bye guys take care akshay vaskar this side stay healthy stay safe